Welcome to the open face carve skate surf section. So this is one of my favorite turns. It can be done in all size surf, in all conditions. It's done um, from all levels of, surf it, of surfers. All you need is a front side wave and you can practice your open face carve. Um, so let me just play a version so you've got a good understanding of what the open face carve looks like. Um, this wave was in Puerto Rico. Really fun wave, really beautiful open wall. Um, using a lot of, it's a rail to rail transitional turn maneuver and is really, really fun. So if we go into our skate version of this at the moment, um, this is how I like to warm up doing my skate version. This is just a nice sort of way to practice and get some muscle memory doing my turns. And there's a few key points of this I'll break through for you right now. Generally, I like to come from the top of the wave. So from here, you can see these, uh, I've actually drawn my lines to give me a good understanding of, of where the wave is. So I'm using this line here, which is the top of the wave, and there's a white line here that I've painted across. This is my bottom of the wave. So now I know what I'm working with. I generally, I can bounce into making sure I'm surfing within or skating within the wave boundaries. So here I drop down to the bottom of the wave and I make sure that when I do my bottom turn, I'm sort of mirroring what I do when I surf or what I'm trying to do when I surf. So here you can see I'm touching the ground. I'm getting a really low center of gravity. So as you can see, I'm bending my knees pretty much down to 90 degrees. My chest is almost hitting my front knee and I'm very much so focused on my direction of where I want to go. So I like when we go through keywords, um, I point out uh, my keywords that I use for this turn. So my, I want to make sure that I'm, I'm following through with my keywords and my and a similar as, as similar positioning when I surf as when I skate because this is the muscle memory that's going to help me um, generate some consistency and allow me to do this turn live when I'm surfing. So as you can see, nice and low, touching the ground. Also, you know that I'm not going very fast, I'm going quite slowly. Also here, when I'm, you can see that I've folded in my, my, my back leg here. So my back knee is sort of pointed into my front leg. So I don't, I don't have a regular squat on. As you can see here, my back leg is quite angled and it's sort of pointing towards my front leg. And that just allows my hips to point in the direction that I want to go because if I squared that leg up and it was came down sort of down here, then I would pull my shoulders, would pull my hips and I'd be looking in more this direction here. But if I fold my back leg in, I can look in the direction that I'm going, which is much easier. So cruising through here, I'm now extending and I'm driving out of my bottom turn and I'm getting to a very, like a quite an extended point um, in from a mechanics point. So here I've gone from a very low compressed, uh, I'm able to uh, withstand any speed or bump because I'm so low and then I can, if it's a small wave, I can definitely use this extension to power out of the bottom turn to help me get speed to go up the face. And I get to quite an elevated stance here. You can see I'm quite elevated. And then as I go through my turn here, I, I'm heavily um, weighted on my heel side, but I'm still very centered over the skateboard like so. I'm not leaning to the point where I might be off balance. And you can see now my arms are starting to act like a bit of a bird, a bit of a plane, but it's keeping me really centered and balanced over the, my skateboard. And through here, you can t see my chin is pretty connected to my left shoulder, which is allowing me to look in the direction that I want to go. So I'm essentially looking down my arm 
here and then this arm is out here it's helping me stay balanced and keeping some weight over my toe side um, as we go through this you'll see my heel uh, sorry my front leg starts to extend and straighten which allow which tells me that I have weight over my back foot my back leg is bent which means all the weight is over my back of my foot which is the most sensitive part of the board and this leg is straight that means that I am over the top of my fins and I can pivot and turn the board nice and easily. So there, I'm continuing to look back and I'm essentially able now, I'm almost looking back to where, I, where the whitewash is, which is allowing me to do this big open face carve like so. Essentially very similar body positioning as the one where I'm surfing. And here I just end the turn, pull back around, and off down the line. So in a side angle, it'll look like this. So down, compress, extend, look, right out of it. So if we mirror the two here, as you can see, I went up the wave a little bit, so I'm starting up at the top of the wave. Similar to what I do when I'm on the skateboard, I end go. I make sure I go to the top of the wave, so when I drop down, I can gather as much speed as possible. Then when I'm down the bottom of the wave, I bottom turn, and I'm looking up at the lip of the wave. So here I'm looking there on this part of the wave, and from here I'm looking up to the, my line. Obviously, I'm skating on a flat surface here, and I'm not gonna be going up a steep um, wave. So my mechanics are slightly different based on the amount of our actually projecting high or projecting um, along a flat area. So they're a little different, but they're quite similar. Here I extend, as you can see, I'm quite extended on the surfboard and I have pretty similar mechanics. Then when I get to the top, my arms come out like a bird. I'm really balanced over the top of my board. My front leg, as you can see here, is straight on both the surfboard and the board. The so front leg is straight, back leg is bent, arms down or across like that, chin connected to the shoulder, continuously trying to look back the whitewash. Similar position, arms here looking this way. Weight shift heavy on the heel side. And then as I continue to draw through the turn, making sure that my left arm, right arm, sorry, comes across the body, which is happening here. And my left arm is sort of allowing my chest to be open and I can have a lot of uh, opportunity to look in the direction that I'm going. Because you go where you look, guys. We've, I've mentioned this before. So this is really um, a good way to practice um, this turn on the skateboard. You can just see here, push the tail out a little bit on the skateboard, push the tail out a little bit on the surfboard, and again, very similar mechanics. Connect and rebound out of it. So that is the open face carve, and yeah, it's a super fun turn, and I love doing it. It's definitely one of my favorite turns. It works really well for long, long guys like myself. Um, some key points in there is uh, really make sure that you open your chest, keep your arms long, don't bend your arms, use your arms to help with the twist and, and to balance you out on the skateboard. No need to go fast on the skatey. Um, just in, go slow, enjoy the process, and um, yeah.